One of the hottest Ford Mustangs I've ever seen was owned by a fanatic who didn't know a thing about the history of the Ford when he bought it. He just loved the look of the car. And on that alone, millions have bought the Ford Mustang. And today, we're digging in and finding some vintage American muscle car weird on today's episode of Five Weird Things. Welcome to the channel. One of my earliest cars that my mom had was a Ford Mustang. The epic memory of that car was that due to a basically a malfunctioning carburetor, a leak, it caught fire at a stoplight. Quickly put out, but my mom never forgave the car. Got rid of it the next week. To this day, I wish we'd kept it and just fixed the carb. Now, what's your Mustang story? Tell me in the comments. First, the things we should know. The Ford Mustang is an iconic American car that has played a significant role in automotive history. It was unveiled on April 17, 1964 at the New York World's Fair. It was designed to be a stylish and affordable sports car, capturing the spirit of American youth. Since its inception, the Mustang has gone through seven distinct generations, with the seventh generation starting in 2020 and continuing to this day. Each generation has had its own distinct style and vibe. Now, throughout its history, the Ford Mustang has become a cultural icon, representing the American muscle car tradition. It's been featured in numerous movies, TV shows, and has a strong presence in popular culture. The Mustang's enduring popularity and its impact on the automotive industry make it a legendary model in the history of cars. And on a side note, I left it out of a previous video I did on muscle cars, and you would think that I, I dropped my pants in the middle of church. I can't tell you how many, I got emails on it, I got comments on it. This is in an effort to make up for that because the Mustang deserves to be there. Weird thing number five, the name Mustang. The original Ford Mustang had a secret development name known as Project Shorty. This was done to keep the project under wraps and avoid leaks before its official launch. Being inspired by World War II, the Mustang is named after the P-51 Mustang fighter plane used by the Allies during the World War. The designer, John Nehar, was reportedly a fan of the plane and the name stuck. By the way, that name might be Najjar. It's N-A-J-J-E-A-R. I can't find the pronunciation online. Weird thing number four, the Donna Reed Show. The joke is an episode from season five, episode 16 of the Donna Reed Show, which originally aired on January 7th, 1960. In this episode, Donna Stone, played by Donna Reed, wins a car in a slogan contest. However, the car turns out to be a wreck and the family decides to fix it up as a surprise for her. The car they work on is a Ford Mustang, which is interesting considering that the Mustang was not officially introduced until 1964. Now, in reality, since the Mustang was not available for purchase until 1964, it really is the 1965 Mustang that's generally considered to be the first model year of that iconic car. Weird thing number three, the Fox Body Platform. Now, the Fox Body Platform was a versatile and widely used platform that underpinned several Ford models during the late 20th century. Introduced in 1978, the Fox platform was designed to be adaptable, allowing for production of several different types of vehicles with varying body styles and sizes. One of the most notable vehicles to utilize the Fox platform was the Ford Mustang. The Fox body platform's adaptability, combined with its contribution to the success of the Mustang and other models, makes it a significant chapter in Ford's automotive history. The Fox Body Mustang in particular has a lasting legacy and continues to be popular among automotive enthusiasts and collectors. Weird thing number two, the World's Fair. The Ford Mustang made its debut at the New York World's Fair on April 17, 1964. This was a significant and historic moment for the Mustang as it was officially introduced to the public in a grand and high profile setting. The unveiling took place during the fair's opening ceremonies, adding to the anticipation and excitement surrounding the car. The World's Fair was a major international exhibition held in Flushing Meadows, Corona Park in Queens, New York. Ford's decision to introduce the Mustang at the World's Fair was strategic, allowing the company to generate maximum publicity and capture the attention of a global audience. The Mustang's debut at the World's Fair marked the beginning of its iconic status in American automotive history with its affordability and performance striking a chord with consumers, leading to its immediate popularity. 
The timing of the launch and the exposure gained at the World's Fair contributed significantly to the Mustang success and its subsequent impact on the automotive industry. And finally, weird thing number one, the Shelby GT500. The first generation was from 1967 to 1970. The original Shelby GT500 was introduced in 1967 as a collaboration between Ford and Carroll Shelby. It was powered by a modified 428 cubic inch V8 engine. It's featured distinctive styling elements and performance upgrade. Now the GT500 became an iconic muscle car of the late 1960s. Now it's revival in 2007 to 2009 Ford and Shelby revived the GT500 in early 2007 as part of a fifth-generation Mustang lineup. The 2007 GT500 featured a supercharged 5.4-liter V8 engine producing 500 horsepower, making a return to high-performance Mustangs. The sixth generation, 2010 to 2014, the GT500 continued in the sixth generation featuring further enhancements to performance and styling. The 2013 model was notable for its supercharged 5.8 liter V8 engine producing 662 horsepower, making it the most powerful production Mustang at the time. Seventh generation, 2020 to the present. The GT500 returned in the seventh generation with the 2020 model year, and it featured a supercharged 5.2 liter V8 engine producing over 700 horsepower making it the most powerful street-legal Ford production car to date. It incorporated advanced aerodynamics, performance-oriented features, and cutting-edge technology. Throughout its history, the Shelby GT500 has maintained a reputation as a top-tier performance vehicle within the, the Mustang lineup. Each iteration has showcased advancements in power, handling, and design, solidifying its status as an American iconic muscle car. Well, that's it for today's episode, and I have to say, this one was a lot of fun. I would love to get a Mustang at some point, preferably a Pony Edition with the iconic Mustang badges. Got something to say? Do it down in the comments, or keep it to yourself, but I'd rather you put it in the comments. Now, if you are still with me at this point, code word for today is VINTAGE. Put it in the comments to earn a karmic smiley face. Take care. Have a great night.